You gotta you gotta get to the root of the problem. Drugs ain't doing nothing but just covering it up. Then you become more and more reliant on drugs. What's going on, man? This your boy Shot the God, Bank Road Mafia. You did checking in. For sure, for sure. Uh, where you from? Atlanta, Georgia, Southside College Park. Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Um, can you like describe like you know your section and where you come from and you know like like what was your experience coming up you know as a child? Um, the Southside. It's pretty much you know what I mean. Think about these hoods and these sides of town and these different cities. Everything pretty much the same, man. You dig what I'm saying? It ain't really, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a plan side of town. You know what I mean? Game. It's a lot of game on that side of town, man. You know what I mean? Just some getting money and just your everyday day to day struggles and and shit that be going on. From the time you was like, you know, young and a child, growing into like your teenage, you know, um, days and stuff like like, what was that experience like? As a child, yeah, pretty much just regular, just cool. You know what I mean? I had my mama, my brother, my sister. Shit, we were just, it was just up, we were just thugging. And my uncle got out of prison, and so he came, and we were just, just pretty much just putting it together. <laughs> What's up? Well, your father was around? Oh, uh, nah, I ain't my daddy. My daddy died when I was like six years old. Did you ever like hear about like the type of person he was, stuff like that, or ever asked? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What type of person was he? Um, he was a businessman. Like organized structure type dude, you know what I mean? Get money type dude. But not in the streets, just like he just make company he had companies and shit. Like he was a working man. You did everyday working man. For sure. Mm -hmm. Not having him, like did that that kinda of affect you a little bit like growing up, or did you ever like, you know, dwell on the idea of, you know, having him around or growing up with him? Um, I ain't it ain't really affect me like that. See, I ain't gonna lie, it ain't, it ain't really affect me like that. Yeah. Did your mother ever like remarry or like she just stayed solo? Like? Yeah, she stayed single. She ain't never remarried. She got a she had a boyfriend from like when I was in middle school up to like now. But like we ain't, nah, she ain't never remarried nothing like that. What was what was life like, Files, with um like her just you know. Like yeah, like the kids, like mom dude held it down, of course. Yeah, for sure. Like, like was was it like like any challenge? Single mom with three kids, like she ain't let us feel it. If it was a challenge, she ain't, she ain't let she ain't let the kids feel it. So I don't really know. You know what I mean? It could be a challenge for her, but like she got some, she held that shit down. For sure. At what age do you feel like um you like got introduced to like like what the streets was? Oh. Um, the street, well, I've, I've been pretty much hearing about the streets and learning about the streets throughout my whole life. Just, you know what I'm saying? Hearing about my family, how they used to be, ooh, 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 my uncles and all them. And then, like, you know, maybe I say when I was like 17, I started seeing what it was like for real, you know what I mean? For myself, my, through my own eyes. So, like, what do you think one of your early lessons was that you? Like when you first really start, you know, evaluating everything, observing in the you know the streets and how, how things mm -hmm. go. Like, what you feel like was one of your first like early lessons? Um, uh, early lesson was when um, let's see, think, oh yeah, a nigga got robbed once. So Ben, you know that's how we gonna open your eyes when you got down, when you under that fire. You know what I mean? So I believe that that pretty much opened my eyes. Let me know you can't trust everybody. Don't be quick to just make quick moves for a dollar. No matter how good it sounds, how long your partner might have knew somebody, it might not even. You know what I mean? It's always, it's always, it's always a partner of a partner. You know what I mean? And and that how that shit go. Is that kind of like, like what did that do to your mental process? Like just trust wise, just with you know, like as you say, like you know, you really couldn't because you trust too many people. Like yeah, like, what was your sight like after that experience? Um, to some of the best of yeah, yeah, for sure. Shit, you know, you know, obviously, nigga, happy you made it out the situation. So you know what I'm saying. And you know, I believe in everything happened for a reason. So I just looked at it like an eye opener. I just looked at it like God would just put him a coattail, get me right for the future. You see what I'm saying? That how I feel. It ain't really, it ain't really affect me like that. You know what I mean? I don't really just, 
I don't really just be affected by shit like that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't dwell on shit like that too long. For sure. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, you growing into manhood, you know, you being a man, like, like, what are your daily, like, like, things that you do to, that, like, you know, when you surround around these environments and mm -hmm. people and stuff like that and circumstances, like, how do you operate? Like, do you feel like you operate more in a survival mindset or you just, like, living just in the present moment? Nah, just like the way we live, it, you know, I yeah, I'm always on some survival shit, like and some observant shit. Like, I don't just I live in the present moment because I know, you know what I mean. Ain't no telling what can happen. You could die today, you could die five minutes from now, type shit like that. So you got to be kind of just in the present moment. But I always kind of just try to be, you know what I mean. Self preservation. Try to make sure I make goddamn good decisions. Try to last long. I be thinking about lasting every time, every every move I make, everything I do, I be thinking about lasting. How, how important is life to you? Life, I think life, life, life important. It's a lot of lessons, you know what I'm saying. But when this shit gone, it's just gone. I know it got to be something after this shit though. You know what I mean? Sometimes I be thinking like, this ain't it. I think like it's some. I I think like this little this little segment right here might be. I be sometimes I be thinking it might be the shortest part of the life. You know what I'm saying? Like it might be some shit we gotta do a million years after this shit. Like on oh, some shit like that. So you feel like are you have more traditional views as far as like like the heaven and hell concept, or do you feel like it's just like something else like outside of that? Nah, yeah, I don't I don't think my shit nowhere near traditional. Like um and a lot of shit I don't try to get into what I don't know, like the heaven and hell, like I don't know how you can speak on that if you ain't even been to now one of them. Like, you know what I'm saying? How the hell? Who? You know what I'm saying? For 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 somebody to tell you about heaven and hell, they would have had to be there. That's old shit. If they were there, they got to be dead. So how the dead motherfucker going to tell somebody who alive about some shit? So that shit get kind of confusing, man. You know what I mean? That shit crazy. Nah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. So, like, you know, speaking of this, this balance between life and death, like, you know, have you, have you ever lost any you know, close friends or family members to like any type of violence or gun violence? Um friends, I lost I lost a lot of I lost a lot of people, a lot of peers. I, I was lucky I ain't never lost none of my close friends. I still got all my close friends who I grew up with. I ain't lost none of them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Thank God. I thank the universe, you know what I mean? But I lost plenty of peers to gun violence for sure. And I lost I lost some like some some big homies like like some like some OG type niggas to gun violence for sure. Like my close close friend who I've been in like twenty years plus, I still got them all though. For sure. For yeah. sure. And like how do y'all like do y'all ever have any talks about just, you know, like how you say just staying, you know, disciplined and like like staying tight? Like do y'all do y'all give each other just pointers and just how to move just correctly and not do this? Like do y'all give each other advice on yeah. moving efficiently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause one of my partners just got out of coma last week. He got some shit. He wasn't like, he just got down. He he kind of got down. He like, you know what I mean? You got different partners. Everybody got their own personality type shit. So I got I got one partner. He be got down. He kind of wild got down. So, but you know what I mean? And that was that was eye opener for the whole crew. And we were just we've been recently we've been speaking on that same topic. What you talking about? Right. We'll, we'll put him in the coma. Yeah, he got he got something mm. going. I think he got into it with somebody and somebody hit him um pistol with him or some shit like that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it's like what's his, what what is what is his mind state like when you talk to him now? Like is he is he you feel like He's he still recovering now, now. he's still on the medication and shit. He ain't himself right now, goddamn. So we still trying to get down. Well I'm just you know what I mean? Right. When I see what he talking about when he fully recover. For sure. For mm -hmm. sure, for sure, man. Um and then um, you know, just like as you mentioned, like, you know, everybody different, you know, and everybody yeah. go through different experiences or go about life in a different way. Um, and a lot of things happen and take place in different people, in people's lives differently. Mm -hmm. uh, are you familiar with PTSD? Yeah, for sure. Like, what, like what is, what's your take on it? Like, what do you, how do you feel about it? Shit is real. It's real, goddamn. Like, you could be nervous about some shit. If you done been through some shit, it's, it's normal. It's natural for you to be nervous about some shit. Like, been in them type of situations and like that shit get that shit get that shit go left real quick. 
it, it just always keep, you always keep in, in your head like shit can go left in a matter of seconds. You know what I mean? So PTSD is real. I know for sure because like, you know what I mean? I, I I ain't suffer from it like that, but I damn sure do got some some post traumatic stress for real. Like I be I be nervous myself when I move. Is it is it any um is it any triggers for you that kind of like triggers that PTSD or certain situations that you you know kind of is more sensitive to you than others? Being being around too many niggas, <laughs> too many niggas, man. I be getting the fuck on, man. I don't be giving a fuck, man. I be like, man, I'm finna go. With too many niggas, I can't do it. <laughs> Why you feel like that? Like, for people that might not understand, niggas is stupid. Niggas ain't got no goddamn sense. So I gotta get the fuck on, man. Where the hoes at, man? I'm trying to be around some hoes, smoking these joints, goddamn taking a little sip, sip, or some shit like that, man. You niggas. Standing around, everybody got down trying to look good, trying to compete and show. Yeah, they the hardest, and they got. Hey, man, I'm over that, man. Beat it. What's up? Mm-hmm. You, um, you feel like you have any anxiety at all, like in, in certain situations or circumstances? Um, like a feeling of nervousness or something that triggers like any. Anxiety? Too many niggas. Respect. I don't like. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Respect. So you mentioned that you know, like you would want to be around women. Like you know, what is what are your trust level with women? Huh? Like, Trust a lot with women. Yeah, like, do you have any, like, it's like how you say you wouldn't want to be around a lot of, you know, men. Yeah. At the time, like, we, we, we both know that, you know, a lot of women. They be, can, they can be. Get, you in some circumstances as well. So, what is yeah, your yeah. trust as far as regarding, like, women? Like, I believe I could get down, like, I could pretty much see what you about. Like, I believe they got down that energy, Jay. Yeah. You gonna pretty much, you can't hold it in forever. If you on some bullshit. Some gonna slip out. You gonna you gonna say something. It just ain't no way around it. You gonna do something, move a certain way. Your body language gonna tell you on some bullshit. So like, you know what I mean? But like, I just I just I just take it how it come. You know what I mean? I just be watching. I'm watching your ass, like for sure, for sure. I don't really trust. I don't trust these hoes. I don't trust. I don't trust these niggas. I don't trust. I don't really trust them. Do you do you feel like you have any level of trust with anybody? Um. Yeah, my family, the people who, you know what I'm saying, made themselves trustworthy in my life, you know what I mean? Who proved, who, people who proved themselves trustworthy, for sure. How do you, uh, what's, your, what's your viewpoint and perspective on loyalty? Loyalty, some people got different um, views on loyalty. It's about, some people, some people is loyal to a topic. Some people loyal to an idea. You know what I mean? You could be loyal to an idea or you could be loyal to a person. You know what I mean? Some people might be loyal to like my family. I say say I'm loyal to my family. That mean I don't give a fuck about nobody else. As long as I'm loyal to my family, I feel like I'm standing on loyalty. So I think loyalty could be got yeah, now it go it go a couple of different ways with that loyalty shit. You know what I'm sure. saying? And I know that these some of these are like key values and you know, the balance in people's relationships, family yeah. wise, with partners, yeah. and even on the intimate level. Um, do you do you have you ever like been in love before? In love? Like in on the intimate level with a woman? Like have you ever been? Oh I think one time. I was like twenty one, yeah, young nigga type shit. I think I I think I yeah, I was in love before. For sure. Yeah. Do you, do you ever see yourself being in love ever, ever again? <sighs> Boy, it's, 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 it's hard these days, but it's like the quality of women out there, you know what I mean? And the shit that they want, and the shit that they, what they got down glamorized, you know what I mean? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't parallel with my vision, you see what I'm saying? So, I don't know, that bitch gonna have to be a goddamn a cold bitch, boy. <laughs> What's up? Do you, do you feel like, like, if, if you never found it, mm-hmm. like, does that ever cross your mind that you might just just be like solo forever? Like I said, like yeah, cause it's like the world getting more fucked up and more fucked up, and these hoes getting more stupid and more stupid, and they might feel the same about other niggas. They might say niggas getting more fucked up and more fucked up. So yeah, you know I mean, it's just gonna have to be some type. It's gonna be have to some something gonna have to happen, man. I don't know, but does that ever cross my mind that I might be solo forever? Yeah, now yes, they always tell me that. <laughs> 
They were like, nigga, you gonna be that, you gonna be that, you gonna be that nigga that got them on a vacation with no girlfriend, nigga. We got them all married. You gonna be the only single bachelor motherfucker. I was like, shit, at least I'm gonna be at peace. Could got them, boy. This shit, man, I don't know, man. This shit crazy. <laughs> Do you feel like um, just growing up in your household? Like with mom boots and everything like that, you know her doing her best. Do you feel like, like, do you think that you had the best example to even really, like, do you feel like you you had the best example of you being a good partner and loving 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 somebody? Do I do I have one? Say that one more time. Like, do you think you've been showing a good example? Cause you know our mothers love. Mama important. gangster for yeah. sure. Yeah, these hoes got some competition. These hoes, my mama from the old school, so these hoes ain't got like. They gotta have some of the morals from back in the day. The new morals, man. If you got, that's all you got. I can't fuck with you, man. You gonna have to have, you gonna have to be brought, be brought up like somewhat the same way I was brought up for me even to be able to be on that type of bond with you. We can kick it temporarily, but I'm just talking about like on some real bonding type of shit. You gotta have some of them old school morals, man. Like, I can't really fuck with you. All right, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Um, like, what do you think about how? Because I, I know you mentioned about. Like what's being glamorized now in a sense mm -hmm. and i know that we kind of live in a very materialistic type of world right now you know, yeah the things kind of seem more important than like values and morals yeah. and stuff like that right? i'm guilty i can be a little materialistic too Shit, we all got them materialistic man right. but that can't be every goddamn thing right. you gotta be you know what i mean you gotta have something else that outweigh that shit. if that outweigh your brain it's a, it's a cold case do you think a man in today's society without money can truly be accepted in love? Um, depends on what with the with with the um with the other person on. Depending on what they what they seeking. You know what I mean? Depending on what the partner seeking. To these days, no. Hell no. Nah. I don't think so. Hmm. You gotta have you know what I mean? I don't I don't think so. Right. If they move to get them, <laughs> got them somewhere on the goddamn in the forest somewhere then we're in the jungle i don't got goddamn know <laughs> uh with uh with a lot of like you said you said the world is getting like a little bit more you know messed up and mm -hmm. a lot of like things are kind of going in a decline and a lot of different social issues and social ways uh a lot of people cope mm -hmm. right and or try to suppress you know their feelings and emotions because it's a lot that we all socially deal with all of us yeah um, and one of the main things that, especially the, in our community, in our circles, amongst our peers, a lot of people cope by taking drugs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, how do you feel? How do you feel about that being like a suppressive thing for a lot of people? Um, shh. drugs, but that ain't that ain't that ain't. You gotta you gotta get to the root of the problem. Drugs ain't doing nothing but just covering it up. Then you become more and more reliant on drugs. Drugs mixed with previous trauma, hell no, nah, that shit got just that shit. I don't think I don't think it's a good. I don't think it's, I don't think it's helping. I don't think drugs is helping. But if you can handle your drugs, then it's cool. But if you using the drugs to cope with the trauma, I don't think you get to the root of the issue. I think you need. I think you need to find the root of the problem in order to deal with the problem. Do you um have you ever tried to cope or suppress your emotions with, by taking drugs? Nah, I ain't coping. Nah, I was taking drugs to get there, get high, and have some fun. I ain't coping. I ain't coping with shit. <laughs> respect. Yeah. Respect. Respect. So when you see your peers that that might might be coping, like how do you like? Do you have, do you have any conversation to talk to them or try to you know give them any kind of support or advice or you, you just feel like you just? Nah, you know, you know, got them. Hell yeah, I give them support advice. Cause you know, I you know got them. Like I used to do. Little drugs and shit, like perks and shit, lean and shit, all that type of shit. Like, I don't do that shit no more though. Yeah, that's why I don't want to let you know. Also, I'm definitely proud of you because when I first yeah. met you, you know, shit, you was Mr. Pull Up. Yeah. Pop up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, bro, you, 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 I'm just commending you, give me a yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? My so diet and shit led me to, the, my diet and shit led me to stop doing all that shit. But it's like, when I see my partners and shit, of course, I give some words of advice or words of encouragement, but what I learned is that they got to click in their head. You can't say, hey, that's bad for you and make a motherfucker stop doing it. They got to see it for themselves. So I can tell them a couple times, but it ain't going to never work until they just finally wake up one day and see it for themselves. Be like, you know what? It's some bullshit. 
shit. So you got different eye openers that open your eyes. Like, like you know what I mean? You might got them wreck a car or something. On 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 the Zan or some shit, and like that might be your eye opener, or you might got down somebody might go in your pocket, take some out your pocket while you geeked up high and um and unaware of your surroundings. That might be your eye opener, or your bitch might leave you because you get too high and she can't deal with you no more. Like it's different eye openers, so so everybody gotta have their own eye opener. That what I learned. Like me, I be preaching like a motherfucker, but that shit do not work, but <laughs> they don't niggas don't listen. Just like I had to see it for myself. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't get this way by a motherfucker preaching to me. It just clicked in my head. Yeah, yeah. Did it for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tough, man. Cause I know it's that's also being glamorized. You know, just kind of, you know, like drugs is just like it's like they think it's cool. It's cool. It's part of everything. Get geeked up. It's cool. Hey, but guess what though? I ain't judging nobody. Cause guess what? One thing I learned about this life too. You live life how the fuck you want to live life. And it's all about, I think, whatever make you happy, man. You know what I mean? Because you could live you could live to last or you could be like, shit, nigga, I'm living my motherfucking life, nigga. I could die tomorrow, nigga. I could die tonight, nigga. I'm finna right. get fucked up. Yeah, I think it's everybody subjective. Okay? Yeah, it's how you want to do it. I ain't judging nobody. It's just how I live my life. I try to be healthy and, you know what I mean, I, I don't do drugs and shit no more. All I do is just smoke a little weed and I just start, I just slow down on drinking alcohol. Also, I just mind, I give me a little taste here and there. But I tried to slow down on that, for, like for New Year's resolution. I tried to stop, yeah, but me too, me too. I got me drunk too. as a motherfucker on New Year's. I ain't got that. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. So, like, you know, and you also mentioned another word, man. You said trauma. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I know a lot of us have traumatic experiences, just as you mentioned, how PTSD. Yeah, for sure. Most, you know, result of that. Um, we we both had a mutual friend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, by the name of Nakis. For sure. And uh, you know, rest in peace, Nakis. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we know that you know he he took his life. Yeah. Like, man, like as you and I both know, like on the outside, you know, I was I wasn't even aware. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know that you know he was my he might have been going through things that he was yeah. going through. Like, what was that? Moment like when you first even found out, like what was you thinking about? Uh, I can't even remember what the fuck I was doing when I found that shit out. But when I first found out how it happened, like I had no idea that what he was going through was that serious. You know what I mean? I had no idea. Like you said, some people don't talk about it or whatever. You know what I mean? Like even if he like. We, he was going through some shit like I don't know. Like he 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 ain't never tripped out that hard. Like I ain't know it was that serious. You know what I mean? Like for sure, for sure. Like I don't know what the fuck where that shit came from. For sure. So like, did it did it make you kind of like did it throw you off guard like at all, or was it kind of like you kind of knew that you know he was kind of going through some things? Like he got them like he he. Like I done been like like these recent couple of years, like I done seen like whole bunch of people who close to me just trip out bitches. That's how I know something going on, cause like I like, you know what I mean? Too many people just tripping out on that same type of shit. Stress, wow. trauma, and just be stressing and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like a lot of close people to me did that. So I just thought it was just some shit going on. But his shit was most serious, you know what I mean? Cause I, I was thinking it was just like some health shit or some 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 nutrients a nigga might have been lacking, might have been calling the brain to go crazy or whatever. But so I ain't even know, but you know what I mean? Like I try not to dwell on shit cause I, I know people see shit different. Like everybody seeing the world different. He might have saw some shit that I ain't even see through my eyes and he might have been like, man, fuck this shit, man. I'm finna go. This shit's some bullshit down here. That's how I look at it. So I ain't like dwelling on it. I ain't looking at him like he crazy. Cause like I said, he probably saw, I might be fucking crazy. He might have saw some shit I couldn't even see. I know different, everybody got different eyes and they see different shit. So, um, yeah, that's my take on that. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, suicide, man, is definitely, I think it always hits home, especially when, like, you know, it's some people you know. Because for sure. Yeah, yeah, that shit. And stuff on you just be like, damn, bro, I ain't even know you was even. Yeah. And that's if they even talked about it, you know what I mean? Like, that was my nigga, like, man, what? 
come on, man. I'm like, young nigga, like, I took care of them niggas. Like, them niggas live with me. Like, type of shit like that. Like, I like, that's how I, I, I done seen, you know what I mean? Signs of s- some small problems, but never nothing I thought was that big that he'd do that. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, recipe, Narki, I love you. And for sure. For sure. Did it, did it, did it make you kind of evaluate a lot about yourself or, 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 or trying to, like, you know, you know, do it like evaluation, like damn, maybe I need to tighten up too, you know, or try to, I don't know, like, did you look at yourself in any, any way? Like, like I know, it. see, it'll confuse you trying to figure shit out. And like, the way make, when, when make my, 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 my life more peaceful and I don't be goddamn stressed out about shit, cause I know it's a lot of shit I don't motherfucking know. And I ain't gonna figure it out till I see it. So, I, like, I don't even know. Well, I ain't, I ain't got to look at myself because I don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, he probably saw some shit that I couldn't even see with my eyes. So I ain't really trip out about it. Of course, we was hurt. We was hurt like a motherfucker. But you know what I'm saying? We kind of spiritual. Like even his mama, she knew. She was like, she said he was too pure for this world. She said this world got down. It's like, it's like fucked up. She like, that nigga never got in a fight. That nigga never stole a piece of bubble gum in his life or nothing. He was just 100% pure. So he could take in too many different energies and then it just fuck with his energy. Everybody, if anybody need help, he gonna try to help you. He get beat. Anything you need help, he gonna give you advice. If you got some trauma going on, he gonna give you some words of encouragement. Like the same shit, you know what I mean? He was like a, a healer, like, like a counselor, like a therapist with the music and just as a person. So I guess he probably just, it was too many energies and he probably just felt like his world was some bullshit and he and he was too pure for it. So, you know what I mean? That's how that shit went. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know that you too, uh, like you changed like your diet. Yeah. Um, like can you explain like, like what you what you stopped doing and what you picked up? Um, well, I'm on I'm a, uh, alkaline diet. I'm on an alkaline diet. It's vegan diet, but it's like most strict, it ain't, just vegan, it's more strict. It's like it's alkaline, like, like, like I, I don't eat shit, like no meats, no nothing, no starch, no sugar, goddamn shit. It's everything alkaline. It's 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 um. I know everybody probably heard of Doctor Sabi, so it's like it's it's his diet. It's it's what it's the shit he was preaching. I just I just took I took that in, and I I kind of live by that. Sh- I live by it. I've been living by it for like. Um, going on three years. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And um, the reason why I brought that up, one of the main reasons, is because you know I know, like, do you do you believe that like food plays a lot in like a person's emotions and thoughts? Do you feel like it's yeah? A I say it all the time. I say you ain't never seen no nigga eat no bowl of fruit mad with no attitude eating some fruit. You know what I'm saying? But nigga got down eating some. I ain't trying to judge nobody. See, it be making me like I'm kind of judging folks. But it's what I'm saying. Not at all. Not at all. But a, but a, but a nigga eating a chicken wing to have an attitude. A nigga ain't eating no motherfucking mango. To my god, damn man. You know what I'm saying? But a chicken wing, god damn, the motherfucker man, eating wings ain't talking about shit. <laughs> I'm going to goddamn eight time wing, man. Eight time wing talking about shit. I'm going to goddamn American Deli. Oh man, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? I say it all the time. I ain't judging nobody though. Once again, I'm not judging nobody on what the fuck they want to do and what the fuck they want to eat. You want to eat a motherfucking pig? Eat that motherfucker. I just don't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? And and it's it's so interesting, bro, because you know, like, you know, it's stigmas on certain things. In my opinion, that you know. People who do come from more so a street background, mm-hmm. like that's just not almost like I guess like food for us to do and like he mm-hmm. helped us almost look at like bro, like you like you different somehow yeah. too. So like knowing you know your your background, your your relationships, and just you as a person, like mm-hmm. how do you balance like being street and like help like almost like spiritual in a sense? Like you know I don't know yeah. if you get what I'm asking. And now I see what you're saying. It's like. It's like, like, it's like the direct opposite almost to, yeah. to, the, to the societal standard. Yeah, you like, damn, nigga, you both. Like, how the fuck you can be both? How you balance? Shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. As you start, as you start, goddamn, getting more and more and more, 
like in tune with that shit, it do kind of take you away from the crowd a little bit. You know what I mean? Like I've been I've been growing farther and farther away from the crowd. Like you know what I'm saying? I gotta make myself get in the mix sometimes. But it's like you know what I mean? But I figure like it might be God might be sending a message through me. So every time I go around. I just, it, it always come up for some reason, every room I'm in, like it always come up and I find myself just talking about it. And people be listening. So it might just be meant for me to be that way, to spread it to my brothers who might be coming from the other walk of life or just, you know what I mean? In the streets, you know what I mean? I might be the one that supposed to be spreading it to the street. That's what I want to say. I might be the motherfucker that supposed to spread it to the streets. Shit like that. So, I, don't, I mean, it ain't really hard to balance it. When niggas get to talking that bullshit, talking about, oh, nigga, you think you got damn nigga, you ain't. I just back up. I ain't, I'm not here to force you to do shit right. or judge you. Right. And I seen recently, you know, like on social media, you know, we had like a little situation going on. I don't really want to get into much detail about it, but um, my question would be like, how do you feel about like the legal system in America? Legal system. I think, um, Everybody got a job, and, and 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 like some people just see some people. People will talk to hate. You know what I mean? We ain't born to hate each other. People, we will, we will talk that shit. So some people, I think it's some good people in the legal system, and it's some bad people in the legal system. And I think the motherfuckers, I think they just be brainwashed because they really, some of them really believe they doing some good shit by locking a nigga up with some weed or something like. You know what I mean? And then again, that shit be about money. But then you got some motherfucker who really think they doing some shit. Like, nigga, you was brainwashed, nigga. Nigga need to, nigga need to goddamn, you know what I mean? They need an eye opener. Some of them motherfuckers need an eye opener. So with the, with, with what you're saying, like, you know, how like some people go to jail for, you know, it could be anything petty or it could be something serious. It just depends, right? I don't, yeah. Like, do you feel like the prison system really rehabilitates people or make them worse? The prison system ain't shit, man. That shit don't do shit, man. Fuck that shit, man. Bullshit ass food. Everything about it. Fuck them. I don't like that shit, man. <laughs> That's just bullshit, man. Everybody got a job. I know everybody got a job, man. But it's some more shit you could be doing, man. Fuck that shit, man. I don't fuck with it. No goddamn, no way, form or fashion. It ain't making shit better. Respect. What do you think? What do you think? Anything you can think of possibly to, you know, to try to help people in certain situations that might be making, you know, bad decisions that's getting them in mm -hmm. bad predicaments. Like, like, what do you like? If you if it was this was your world, you could create something to mm -hmm. really help. You know what I mean? Like, what would you do? Like, what would you set up? So, um, if I, all right, so if it was my world, bam, instead of the prison system, how would I help the world yeah. maintain? Like the harmony yeah. and like because obviously we ain't have police and shit being everybody be buck wild yeah. but then that could be just an opinion because we don't know what that shit was like before this the, the controlling that motherfucker came about we don't know i don't know what this shit was like millions of years ago or thousands of years ago before from what i know shit we was chilling Niggas with kings and shit, build and shit with gold and shit. That's all I know from, from what I motherfucking know back then. I think we might have been straight, goddamn. I don't know. This shit might have fucked it up. Do you feel like you as a black man, you you, you are automatically like profiled or there's prejudice, like opinion against you just for like who you are against the like system? Like, do you feel like you are automatically like just looked at? No, I think either they was taught to hate me or they just intimidated by me. I don't think. You know what I mean? I don't even think I, I motherfuckers. I don't even believe in like racist. I don't believe people be racist. I believe they probably will talk by their parents to hate us, or they just see something in me that they just intimidated by, and they wish they had. That's how I feel like. You know what I mean? Anytime a motherfucker mad at a motherfucker, they not mad at nobody but themselves. You know what I mean? That, that's that's my motto. Nobody never mad at nobody else. You always mad at yourself. Blame yourself. Mm. Do, you, uh, do you have any children? Children, no. Any money? Yeah, for sure. Like, how soon do you think you're ready for that? Shit, I'm, I, you know what I mean? I'm ready, but you know what I mean? We still chasing this shit, man. 
I'm trying I'm fucked up too, man. I'm chasing this shit too. <laughs> Got down, so I ain't had no kids yet. So with you not having your dad, right, in your life, you know, mm-hmm. in um, you having your own kid right now. You would have, you know, you a little boy right now. Mm-hmm. Do you think you are fully equipped to really guide him as a man? Like without you, you know, I don't know if you had, so I know you probably had solid men figures around you. Yeah, for sure, man. I had, man, I had so many father. daddies. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of daddies. All my uncles were my daddies. Big cousin with my daddy. My brother with my daddy. Man, I got daddies. <laughs> so you feel like you, you you really equipped and have what it takes to like guide that little boy? Hell yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. I, like, I fuck, with, I fuck with the young niggas. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, any chance I get, I try to instill some, 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 some goddamn, some solid shit into them. You know what I mean? For sure. And with all these lessons, man, um, this this be one of my, my biggest closing questions. Like, with all that you are learning and this journey that you on and really trying to, you know, just be better mentally, spiritually, physically, everything mm-hmm. like that. Like, out of all of your experiences to, to this date today, like, if it's one thing you could have changed, like, in your past, what would it be? One thing I, okay. Mm. See, that's hard because I believe everything happened for a reason. So why am I going to change anything? But... If we want to be like on that question, if I wanted to answer that question the way you want me to answer it, if I would change anything, um, stop that now. I'm nice, man. I don't let motherfucker. You know what I mean? I don't be a little, be a little meaner. You know what I mean? Stop letting folk get away with shit. I let people just get away with shit. You know what I mean? But. That's all I can say. But like I said, it probably was supposed to be that way. That might be why I'm still here today. You know what I mean? So I really wouldn't change shit. But if I could change it, if I had to change something, put it like that, if I had to change something, I wouldn't let a motherfucker get away with nothing. 